Hey guys, welcome back to Mod and Pop Thrift. My name is Tom. I'm a full-time eBay reseller, stay-at-home dad for five kids, and we've got one on the way. Big shout out to Drew at Tip of the Mitt Flips. He he has a fantastic channel, also a stay-at-home dad and a uh, eBay reseller. Um, so if you like my content, you'll probably like his, but then he sent a bunch of people over here. So let's see, if you aren't familiar with Drew, Go check out his channel, uh, Stay at Home Dads, supporting each other, strangers on the internet, making things, making community happen. Let's uh, let's just jump right into it. I caused myself some headache today. Uh, for one, I didn't get out here until 9:30 this morning. I've, I've got five kids. The wife started back to school on Monday. Today's Tuesday. The kids don't start till tomorrow. So I'm kind of dadding until 9.30 in the morning, and then I've got to get uh, 27 out today. But so I had, I told you I had like 20, and then I did seven of them yesterday. And then I, I had forgotten that over the weekend I did one day handling time. So everything that sold, uh, those 14, that would be the difference between 20 minus seven up to 27. Uh, those were all one day handling time. So I have to get all of that out plus everything that I skipped doing yesterday. I have almost all of it already pulled and at 9.30 in the morning, I'm at $77 in sales. Um, let's just jump into it and tell you what sold and what it sold for and I will get as much of it packed as we can and hopefully we get it all out before the mail shows up. We'll start with this one because it's right here. I paid $30 for a whole bunch of spark plugs. Uh, it was three boxes. I paid $10 a box uh, on auction. That This is like the rem the leftover remainders, dirty box, stuff that there's only one of random lot stuff. Uh, sold for $45 plus shipping. Buyers all in at 63 And so... And it's going to Georgia, so I don't suspect it's going to cost a fortune to ship over there. I don't it might be 20 bucks. It's a little bit heavy. Um, and they paid 20 bucks in shipping. I bet it's more like 14. I'll pop that number up once I get the final total. Uh, let's see what else. This jersey was kind of a totally random thing. It's a vintage jersey, but it's for like a high school. Um, it looks like a Steelers jersey. It looks like Iowa State but it has a lightning bolt on the side and I bought it for not very much money a long time ago. It's been posted. It's been listed a long time. Um, sold for $9 plus shipping. It is what it is. I can't find those two things. My buddy came over the other day and left me a whole bunch of Wii stuff. I broke it down into small parts uh, for the most part. So this is a Wii controller and a Wii nunchuck. The Wii nunchuck has never had the foam taken off the end, and that only marginally matters to anybody ever. Um, just a nice little setup if you're just starting out with the Wii. $22 free shipping. This ratchet that I picked up a toolbox for $10. Paid $25 for two toolboxes and some other stuff. Anyway, this ratchet, it just says Indesto on the bottom. Old half-inch drive ratchet. Sold for $17.00. Free shipping. This shirt is new with tags. Vintage Marlboro gear, uh, 99 right there on the tag. Uh, not as desirable as I thought it would be when I listed it. Uh, sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. The Gubernita. I think I got this off of Whatnot. No, I think I found this on the rack at Goodwill. Um, vintage uh arnold schwarzenegger t-shirt 16 dollars plus shipping it took a lot longer to sell than i thought it would um but it's small it's a really little shirt um i like picking up weird vintage shirts it's just kind of a thing for me i did not count these one two three four five six seven. Ooh, do i hear the mail truck already at 9 30 in the morning she would have texted me for sure so there's nine total i gotta get back in that box and Grab the other two. Agatha Christie, very popular artist, very popular author. She, uh, so when I find her books, I lot them up. Uh, those sold for $11 plus shipping. So don't pay much for them. But if you find them for a dime, a quarter, a box for a couple bucks, 
Um, you're going to do all right with Agatha Christie. Um, these cassette tapes, not a great pickup. Asher picked them up for a dollar fifty, and I was like, "Yeah, those are worth picking up." Ten bucks free shipping. You guys watched the other day. Levi and I went to Goodwill, and we only found one thing. It was three dollars. The uh, power cord, dock, and headphones. Sony rechargeable. Uh, Battery-powered headphones sold for $25, free shipping. We paid three. Uh, this art t-shirt I got off of Whatnot. It's got a cool vintage tag on it that I'm not, I mean, I'm not familiar with that. And just a weird art print. It very reminiscent of Pee-wee's Playhouse. Like, not anything specific, but like just kind of that weird pop art style. Sold for 11 plus shipping. This blank, this is just a single stitch blank Hanes uh, red size medium. I don't pay much for blanks. That was sold for $5 plus shipping. Uh, not really worth messing with. I had it listed for eight and it's a best offer and somebody offered me five and I'm like, that's been sitting around forever. We'll just get rid of it. Um, Steak and Shake glass, I paid $1.25. I paid $2.50 for two of these Steak and Shake Insight Must Be Right. Um, hearing noise outside, let me check that. Okay, I don't know what that noise was. Uh, a bunch of keychains taped to a piece of cardboard. And then behind that, there's another group of keychains taped to cardboard. They have the mobile, mobile gas Pegasus on them. That's why they would be desirable to anyone, I'm assuming. Um, I paid like two fifty. They sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. Paid fifteen dollars on top of the bucket of wee stuff for this Batman trilogy. This is the uh, Heath Ledger, Christian Bale, uh, Christopher Nolan trilogy with uh in 4k ultra hd with the blu-rays uh paid 15 dollars for that it sold for 47 free shipping these i bought at auction i think i paid 10 bucks for them and they are broken that's the problem with high bid is i didn't know whether or not these worked and i guess i assumed i could get them working i did not um they weren't worth as much as i expected to start with so then i end up with selling these for 15 dollars. i think yeah 15 dollars free shipping just to have a listing that moves and not not throw them away this doll is an american girl doll but like she has marker all over her hair is a mess i listed her for restoration uh 37 dollars free shipping i paid five for it because she still had the she had a like zip tie with the tag hanging from goodwill for five bucks but i bought her a year ago she got shoved under the seat in my wife's truck that she drives and she was cleaning out the truck and she's like hey i found an american girl doll so i had kind of forgotten that that existed up until like a week ago and then it got listed and got sold these were the, in the bottom of a box at an auction there was i think there was 18 of them so i made uh nine listings of pairs and they sold for nine dollars free shipping but they're like the bonus extra bottom stuff i don't mind selling that for nothing because it's bonus stuff when you buy in lots sometimes that extra stuff is worth listing for a little bit of nothing this is snap-on it has wounded warrior it is autographed um but i don't know what it is it's a uh, shirt polo shirt kind of it's jersey material it's single stitch uh it's weird i think it says 2011 on it and single stitch does not matter on dress shirts because it's just not the same uh, deal so this is a it's probably from i if i had to guess i would say it's from a motocross event but i don't know um and i didn't list it forever because i didn't know it sold in a couple of days, and I just put autographed, but I don't know by who, in the listing. Um, 
So I didn't like try to capitalize on the autograph miss. I just sold it. And it sold for 14 free shipping. Uh, this game came with this gun. And this gun breaks down for shipping for Nintendo to be able to ship it. Um, and then you put your Wii remote here. And you put the nunchuck here. And that's how you hunt big game in 2010 on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, so, and then you break that down just like that. And that sold for $25. The game by itself is worth about five or six bucks. And the gun by itself is worth like five or six bucks plus shipping. But you get them together and they're much easier to sell. This dolphin t-shirt, I can't tell you anything about this dolphin t-shirt. I suspect it came from whatnot. Because most of the time when I pick these kind of shirts up, I know where they came from, but sometimes I get big, I got big lots from whatnot and wasn't sure what even everything was. Um, it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. It's just a vintage shirt from Vancouver Aquarium. It is what it is. It's nothing to write home about. So put down your quill writing a letter home about that shirt. Nobody cares. $10 plus shipping. I paid $3.75, I think, for this guy. Um, so $10 bucks plus shipping isn't great. Uh, it doesn't currently have batteries in it, but it light. Yes, it does. It lights up. Um, and then you hang it on the wall, and it's BB-8. We're going to make sure it's off for shipping. I would did not realize that I stored that with batteries in it. It must have come with batteries. This shirt was the one I was having. I had a lot of trouble with the buyer not realizing the best way to go about using the best offer system. We went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I ended up just changing the listing to say uh, the, to say the price that the guy wanted, and he still seemed a little confused. But it is that buyer who bought it, and he ended up getting it to work and at the price he wanted this little pew pew is a uh it sold for 12.59 all of these cap guns were leftovers from a big lot that i bought and made money on the high-end stuff a long time ago and then cassette you guys know i like to buy cassette storage this one sold for 15 dollars plus shipping i probably paid three dollars for it at goodwill uh, but that is it. 27 that have to go out. All of them have to go out today. I got maybe 45 minutes to get them all packaged. So let's see how that goes. So you probably heard me say in the video, oh, I can't find that thing. There's, there's two of them. I found them. This I found for uh, 99 cents with the regular glasses at Goodwill in Champagne. I feel sorry for the people of Champagne. Their Goodwill is so unbelievably astronomically overpriced that it is comical. Um, I'm sure that there are people who go in there and regularly find good things, but like it's the kind of place where it's a something's a hundred dollars on the shelf and you comp it on eBay and it's thirty dollars new in package on eBay. Um, it's a hundred dollar pair of used Jordans that have been walked in for five years. Uh, every time I, and I, I used to go in there a lot. The kids had to go to the bathroom. And so we pulled off of that exit and I was like, Oh, this is the exit where on the way from Peoria to Indianapolis, it's on the way. And the kids had to go to the bathroom. And I was like, there's the Goodwill. We'll stop in there for a couple minutes. We've got to get a couple extra minutes and it would be fun. And I found this was the only, literally the only item that we found, but it was 99 cents with the regular glasses and it's Space Mountain from Disney World. And you guys know, I love Disney World, I have Mickey Mouse t-shirt on today. I love reselling Disney World stuff. Not all Disney World stuff is worth getting, but a lot of it is. A lot of it is like only available for a season or two and then it's gone and something like this like that is if you're into pilsner i guess uh then this is 
a really beautiful art on a really nice glass. And it, I can't tell if that's a chip in the glass or if that's on top and will wash off. It's got to be something on top that will wash off. Yeah, it's coming off as I scratch at it. But I'm surprised that I didn't notice it before. Somebody's just hiding behind me. Hi, Caleb. Hi. Yeah, it came up. So this is a great glass sold for $30 plus shipping. I had it for $47 plus shipping, and the buyer offered me like $19. And I thought about, no, I need to forget that. I'm not taking that offer and just delete. But I countered at $32, and they came back at $30. So I'm like, I'm glad that I countered. Um, this shirt I paid two bucks for, and it is a bunch of bands, Corn Rob Zombie, Evanescence, Machine Gun Kelly, um, a thing in 2019 called Epicenter, and it sold for $19.99, and I have Lanny on my shoulder, and so these two things have to ship. I told these kids to come out and find me in a couple of minutes so that I could give them yard work chore stuff to do so i guess i'm doing that now i uh, where's levi uh he's getting shoes on cool okay so for those of you who like kid content and drew who thinks i need a farm to keep him busy push mowing weed eating and riding the tractor they stay busy and i mean it's good for him to do work right <laughs> 